Hi students, uh, this is Mr. Arriaga. I'm your instructor this semester for speech. Uh, I wanted to take this time to introduce myself. A lot of you, yeah, I got to watch your video, so I figured why not post something uh, so you can see who I am. I'm not just uh, someone emailing you constantly in class and, and commenting on your assignments. Uh, I just wanted to take a few minutes to kind of talk about a few things in class and just so you know who I am. Uh, since you don't have, excuse me, if you, since we don't have an actual class. First off, this is my cat. This is Dorothy. I don't have any children, so that's, you know, all I have. But, you know, I'm not one of those people <laughs> refer to them as my children. I just, that's just strange. Anyway, so I've been teaching at CBC for going on four years now. Um, started off teaching, the, there's a, a intro to college type course. I taught that for a couple semesters and I got the opportunity to teach speech and actually use uh, my, my master's degree. I was really excited about that, especially since I'm not done paying for it yet. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, like I said, I, I enjoy teaching here uh, at CBC. Um, I don't have a classroom and I don't have an office on campus. I am located in Beeville. Um, but I don't, I don't go to campus almost at all. Just I'm on uh, all online this semester. Normally I have one class on on the campus. So if you need to get a hold of me, that's why I stress having email uh, or contact me through Blackboard is is the best way because um, you know you can't just come see me. Unfortunately, um, I do list my CBC email and my cell phone, but I would prefer and uh, and in the syllabus it does say to contact me through Blackboard. I'm on it almost all the time. Anytime that I'm away from my computer for an extended amount of time, I will let you know. In fact, this coming weekend, I'm going to be uh, out of town and there's a good chance I may not have access to the internet. I'm actually going to Florida uh, to help uh, what, what was supposed to be a vacation, but now I'm gonna help my friend uh, clean up and recover after the hurricane. So there's a good chance I may not have access to internet. And I'm gonna send that out uh, and in an email, but if I don't respond right away, just know that that's the case. Uh, and, and if that's the case, I'll have you, you know, uh, text me would probably be better or, or email me with through my uh, CBC account. Um, so I wanted to talk to you a little about this course. A lot of people have asked, well, why do I have to take this course? What's, how is this going to help me in my everyday life? Well, the one thing you have to, to think about, most of us are not going to speak in front of a large group of audience. This course focuses a lot on interpersonal communication, and by that means, how do you inter interact in a group? We will have a group project uh, this semester, uh, but you know, it even talks about relationship issues. I'm sure we've we've all had you know relationships either go good or bad, um, and and so there's that dynamic. But the one thing I want you to take from it, at some point, you're going to have to talk to whether it's not a large group of people, I've actually spoken in front of a, a thousand people once and it was the scariest thing I've ever done in my life and I have a background in this. Um, but you're gonna be speaking to, even of a job interview, it's usually a panel of three or four people. So you're gonna have to use some of these things that we learn in this course for that. So I want you to think along those lines and not necessarily think, well, I'm never gonna speak in front of a large group of people. What do I need this for? That's why I stress doing all the reading I stress uh, in the course, just, just think about how you can uh, you know, include this in your daily life, not this is just the course that everyone has to take. Uh, you know, I thought that too. I've, I spent a lot of time in, in college, um, and I was like, well, I'm never going to need this. I took it in high school and in college. So I get it, but as the, the more I went on in, in, in college and grad school, I learned, okay, I can kind of see how these principles and some of these things that we're talking, you know, that I learned are going to help me. You know, introduction, learning to introduce yourself, you know, uh, shaking hands, making eye contact, you know, all these things come into play. It's not necessarily something we always think about. So I want you to think about that in those lines of this course. This, Maybe that we're not going to be a professional speaker and learn and speak in front of large groups of audiences, but how how you're going to inter, you know interpersonal communications, working as a team, you know those types of things. Um, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to say. Of course, this is something <laughs> this is something that I tell that I'll tell you in the in the future to have your notes, have talking points when you're giving your speech, have everything laid out. Of course, it's one of those do as I say, not as I do things because I really I'm kind of. Uh, Impromptu, uh, doing some impromptu speaking right now. Um, a little bit more about me. Like I said, I live here in Beeville. 
for about four years. Uh, was really uh, excited. I bought my first house this year, so that was a big deal for me. Um, I like to uh, to cycle. I like to run, go to concerts, hang out with my friends. I just recently got into golf. I'm not good at it. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out why people enjoy it and do it more than once. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's one of those things that you're always going to strive to improve on, I guess. Um, but uh, I have the world's coolest job. I'm starting a business, uh, my full-time job. I'm starting a business with a friend, and our, we're starting our construction phase. Uh, actually, this week it started, so I'm really excited. I get to work with my best friend uh, and hang out with them you know, every day. So it's a really cool thing. I, I do this because I enjoy it. Um, you know, and it's, 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 it's a good experience. So I, I, I hope you do well in this course. Uh, like I, like I've said this, uh, in the introduction to the syllabus, you know, I, I really stress that, you know, since this class doesn't meet online, I stress that you email me or respond to emails that I send. If you've not figured it out by now, I send a lot of announcements. I send a lot of emails and there are times where I really need your response just like when I was asking everyone if they had their textbook, I needed to know that so I needed to, so I could determine when to start our assignments with the textbook. Um, and so I was actually to do this a little sooner because the majority of you had that. So I'm glad, but I do require participation. You do get that is part of your grade. Um, participation is only worth 10%, but that could potentially bump it up a little bit. And I do round uh, your grades up. So, um, but you know, our tests, there's going to be five of them. They're worth 40%. Uh, there's going to be, I think it's four speeches. Uh, let's see, your informative, your demonstrative. Uh, <laughs> see, I should know this. I've been teaching the same course for, for a long time. Uh, the group project and the persuasive. So there's four speeches. Those are worth 40% of your grade. So if you don't do one of those or you don't do, if you do very poorly, you know, that's going to have a huge impact on your grade. Uh, there are five exams. Those are worth 40% as well. Um, so I encourage you to read the instructions, to follow them. If you have questions, you know, the worst thing you can do is to not ask and just guess. And a lot of times there's some pretty bad re repercussions. Um, you know, you'll still find in college, you know, some of you are taking a college course for the first time. You know, there are repercussions for your actions and your lack of actions in this course. It's not like, you know, I, I'm very strict on my deadlines and that's to, to help you the rest of your college career. Or even just in work, I mean, you have strict deadlines when you have to turn in reports, things of that nature. So, you know, there are consequences. If you don't do your assignment, you know, uh, you're not going to get a grade. Or you're, if you don't follow the instructions, you know, you're not going to get a good grade. So I just want to stress that. Um, but think about these real-world applications, the possibilities of them. Uh, like I said, the worst thing you can do is just not communicate with me when there's something going on, something you don't understand. I highly encourage you. There's no dumb question. There really isn't. Um, trust me, I've asked some crazy questions uh, in, in my past, but, you know, you got to, we got to ask. And, and it's, you know, um, even, you know, a lot of times students are on the, you know, ask a question, they're like, I'm sorry, this is the craziest thing I've you probably have ever been asked. And a lot of times it's not. Most of the times it's not. Um, but that just shows me you're thinking, you want to know, and, and that's a good thing. So don't be afraid. It's, you know, it's just an email between you and I. So think about it that way. But that's, um, this is something to think of, but just make sure you, you, oh, you download the app. This, there's an app for your smartphone. Um, you know, every time I send an announcement, you get an alert. Um, I highly encourage that it's free. Uh, just go to the uh, uh, Apple Store or the Android Store, or whatever it's called, uh, to download it. Highly recommend that. Uh, if nothing else, just to get announcements. Uh, I said they they come through as an announcement and as an email, uh, in case you have a, your uh, email forwarded to another account. So, anyway, that's enough of my rambling. I just wanted to to give you a face to a name. Um, but I'm going to try to post more videos this semester. It's not necessarily something I've always done. Uh, I'm going to try to lay out our major assignments, uh, you know, not just having a, uh, you know, this sheet, everything written down on a sheet. I'm going to try to go through it. Uh, and, or if there's a lot of questions about something, I'm really going to try to post more videos. So please, uh, please watch them. Anyway, have a good semester, and uh, we'll talk again soon.